हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल तो इसका सॉल्व डी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर्टी प्लस थ्री इंटू वोल वाई इज इक्वल टू ई पावर फोर इट इज नॉन होमोजीनल इन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन तो फर्स्ट सॉल्यूशन देन राइट द गिवन इक्वेशन द गिवन इक्वेशन इक्वेशन इन सिम्बॉलिक फॉर्म इट इज गिवेन इन सिम्बॉलिक फॉर्म सिम्बॉलिक फॉर्म इज गिवेन इन कैपिटल डी देन इट इज इन सिम्बॉलिक फॉर्म ओके you can understand no okay so write first the equation d square minus 4d plus 3 into y is equal to e power 4x now the non homogeneous linear differential equation no so so what you have to do there are three steps to solve first is first is what complementary function second is particular integral third is general solution so first complementary function so complementary function what i will do first i take this equation lhs okay d square minus 4d plus 3 into y is equal to i am considering the lhs as zero to find a complementary function okay so if you send the y this it become d square minus 4d plus 3 is equal to zero now write in auxiliary form why i am writing auxiliary form is to get, to get the Roots okay. Right, right in auxiliary form. Auxiliary form instead of d, what I will write capital normal uh, small m capital or which okay. So m m I will write m instead of d okay. So become m square minus four m plus three is equal to zero. Then I am using Now I'm finding the factors. Okay, by middle term splitting. If you multiply first and last, it become three. We have to get the plus three and minus one in between. So factor of three is what? Three one za three. Okay, okay. Then minus three into minus one is equal to minus into minus plus three one za three. Three become minus three minus one is equal to minus four. Okay, so the so I'm writing m square minus three m minus m plus three is equal to zero. Then after that, I uh, take m as comma m is equal to m bracket m minus three. Then I take minus one comma it become m. Then minus one into plus it become m minus three is equal to zero. Then take m minus three as common. M minus three, then M minus one take common here. Here are outside, then take it in bracket. Okay. Now is equal. Now separate equate this function with zero. So M minus three is equal to zero, and M minus one is equal to zero. Now send it minus two. This side become plus three. Minus one to this side become plus one. So it become M is equal to M one is equal to three, and M two is equal to one. This is our root. We got two roots. Now the Now write the case. The roots. These are roots. Okay. M one, M two are roots. The roots are are different. Okay. Different. Different than differential equation. Differential equation or complementary function. So our complementary function is a into e power m one x plus b into e power m two x. Okay. Now substitute the values here. So our complementary function is a. You know what is m one is three. So e power three x plus b into e power one is. That means e e power x. This is our complement complementary function. This is our step one. Okay, we complete our step one. Okay, in this problem. Now step two. Okay, I'm writing here to better to understand. So step step. Two okay. Step two means to find the particular integral. So first write the statement. The given the given differential equation is is d square minus four d plus three into y is equal to e power four x. Now write the other statement. It is it is in the in the form of In the form of which form is f of dy is equal to x. Okay. Now, uh, now we have to find particular. This is our second step. Now, particular is equal to x by f of d. F of d is equal to what is x? This is what function is x? So we have e power four x by what is f of d? This is f of d. Okay. D square minus four d plus three. 
now e power 4x now we just only find out the factors of this okay we made into auxiliary forms so our factor is m minus 3 and m minus 1 instead of m minus 1 m minus 3 we have to write d minus 3 and d minus 1 here d is denoted that's why okay now now e power 4x by now substitute instead of d you have to substitute 4 okay 4 minus 3 instead of d substitute 4 here so 4 minus 3 into 4 minus 1 okay so you have e power 4x by 4 minus 3 is what 1 and 4 minus 1 is what 3 okay they become e power 4x by 3 into 1 is 3 our particular integral is integral is e power 4x by 3 okay now step 3 our final step step 3 we come to step 2 no? now step 3 step 3 is the general solution is the general general solution is is y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral okay so cf is whatever complementary function now just only i find this no find so it become a into e power 3x plus b into e power x plus particular integral is e power 4x 4x by 3 okay this is our general solution okay this is our answer thanks for watching